Ruby Doo. Are you helping me cook today? No, you're silly. All right then, hi there YouTube. I am showing our dinner for tonight. I am making baked spaghetti. So I already have my noodles cooked. They're in the uh, colander right now. So I'm gonna take this, uh, well it's creamy mozzarella, but it's like an Alfredo kind of sauce. And put it in the pan. And I'm going to take my noodles that I just drained, put them back in the pan. And get everything all stirred up and coated in the delicious sauce. The recipe calls for a mini loaf pan, but I don't have a mini loaf pan, so I'm just going to use my muffin pan. And you take a little bit of this. You know what? I'm going to get my little spaghetti spoon guy. I thought the tongs would work, but they're not. So I totally forgot to grease these muffin holes. What do you call those? Wells? The muffin wells? The, the divots? I, I forgot to spray these with my Pam, and it's right there, so I don't know how I forgot it. Usually not this dummy dum dum. So basically, take your spray. Okay. So there's that. And now you take your pasta. And you put it in here. Because, oh boy, wouldn't that have been fun if I'd fill all these cups up? Got everything baked and then couldn't get anything out? I would have been so happy. I wouldn't have felt stupid at all. And I used about a half a box of thin spaghetti. I think it should be good. If it's not, well, it's gonna have to be. So it'll go, it'll be good. That's the burner I cooked the pasta on. Just so as you know. Yep. I just try to, you know, even them out best I can. And now, to avoid having some nasty burnt Alfredo sauce, I'm just gonna wipe this down real quickly. Just to kinda get the excess sauce off the top here. All right, and then, so the recipe calls for sprinkling mozzarella cheese on the tops of each individual pile of spaghetti. And the recipe calls for one cup spread over all of them, so I just put it in a measuring cup. And then again, clean it up around the edges so that you don't have nasty burnt bits. Alrighty, so now that these guys are packed in all nice and tight, I'm going to stick it in my preheated 350 degree oven for, I don't remember how long because I couldn't get the recipe in front of me, but uh, I'll let you know when I figure it out. for about 25 minutes. So I'm going to check at 20 and then set a second timer for 25. While we're waiting for the spaghetti to finish cooking, I am going to start working on the meatballs and, well, okay, the recipe calls for spaghetti sauce, but um, I just used tomato sauce and season it up myself. And before anybody says anything, I have heard that, uh, K 
canned tomatoes aren't particularly good for you. Something, something about the process. Um, but I am, I am fully willing to deal with that. The consequences from eating tomatoes from a tin. But so I put the meatballs. They're still pretty frozen. I put them in to the tomato sauce, and to the tomato sauce, I'm going to add. A little bit of parsley, a little bit of basil, a little bit of oregano, or a lot of oregano, because I like oregano. Some black pepper, some onion powder. And this stuff, remember in my other video I did uh, Garly Garni? Well, this is Garly Getty. It's from the same company. I love these guys. They're awesome. It's like spaghetti style garlic powder. I don't know exactly what's in it. Trade secret, I guess. But it's delicious. So, go ahead and stir all of this up. And I actually don't measure my spices. So, if anybody wants to know how much of each thing I put in. I have no idea. Uh, it's pretty random. Depends on the day, how I'm feeling, what spices I want. So we're going to let these meatballs heat up in this tomato sauce. The Alfredo spaghetti is cooking and I've got some green beans over here on this other burner. Alrighty, my timer went off and these guys look super awesome done. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and then cancel timer two. Alright, so these are our pasta dudes. And I'm gonna plate it up. And we're each getting three meatballs tonight. Ooh, living on the wild side. So I'm going to do three blobs of tomato sauce. I'm going to take this spoon here and try to, as gently as possible, remove these guys from their muffiny holes. Place them on top. I try not to completely destroy them in the process. Okay. So we got those three guys there. And then each of them gets a meatball. And there we have it. Baked spaghetti. Toss a few green beans on there. And super yum. So tasty. Okay. And there's my plate. Okie dokie. And now the dinner is over. Uh, my husband ate three more of the meatball thing, so he had his second serving. But I am going to save mine for lunch tomorrow. So I'm going to spoon some of the leftover sauce in the bottom of my bowl. This guy's falling apart. All right, stick those guys in there. Take the three remaining meatballs. And really, this, this does refrigerate pretty well. Um, and leftovers are just as tasty as they are fresh. So <clears throat> here we go. And I have lunch for tomorrow. We didn't have any green beans left over. We ate all those because they're delicious too. And uh, now we got to do is clean up. So thanks for watching.